Hello and welcome back to my channel, Sufini Designs. Today's video is on how I created this flame inspired resin lampshade. I first measured the size of the lampshade to get the correct diameter to cover the bulb. Then I created the design in Illustrator, printed it off onto two A3 sheets of paper and then stuck them together both front and back before then covering them in plastic. If you'd like to get access to this file to download for your own design then consider joining my new membership site. I will post a link in the description below. For the outer edge I'm using black crushed glass from Ikea which I'm mixing with a small amount of resin and making sure that each of these pieces are thoroughly coated in the resin before moving on to placing them on the artwork. Now I've covered this in plastic to protect the artwork and also for when we come to drape later and I'm very loosely following the design of the flame. It doesn't have to be perfect, it, it just to give you an idea on how you're going to create the shape for the shade. And this has just been applied with the spoon. Don't worry about it being too precise at this stage because we can we go back later and tidy it up with the stick so we can move it to get that shape that you're after. Once you've done your outer edge, it's then time to add the colour to your resin and pour it onto your design. Now I'm using Dr. Martin's Hydrus watercolour tints, however you can use uh, acrylic ink, India ink or even alcohol ink, so whatever you have to hand so you don't need to go and buy this specifically, you can use whatever you've got. And we're starting out with a yellow base for the flames and then using a stick we're just going to spread that around a little bit. So next we're going to mix up a little bit of red and just put that on the outer edges. Don't add any of the red to the yellow at this stage, just pour it around the edge and we're going to do the same with a brown and placing the brown outside of the red so that you're going from yellow to red to brown to the black. So once you've poured your colours it's then time to leave this for about half an hour to cure up a little bit before we move on to the next step of moving the resin. Once your resin has been sitting there for half an hour it's now time to move it. We don't want to move it before this time because we don't want to blend the colours, we want the colours to remain separated. So just using the edge of the stick we just pull the colour into the centre in a wave motion. Don't overdo this, you don't want it to mix too much so just less is more as they say, just take take the edges into the centre until you have the desired effect and then we're going to leave this to cure for a, a further four or five hours depending on the temperature of your room but just check on it every hour or so just to, till it's no longer sticky and what I'm doing here is I'm just flattening the crushed glass now around the edge because I don't want it to be raised up now that we've poured it and it's been sitting for a little while we can now squash this down a little bit and just make just drag some more of the colour into the centre so you've got a good transition between the colours to the outer edge. So it's been six hours since we started this pour and this, the resin is no longer sticky so what I'm doing here is I'm just adding a lid from the Lares Expressions because it's the right size for the size of my lampshade for the hole and then just applying a little bit of pressure and placing that in the centre of the design before moving it onto the vase. 
once you're happy with the positioning of your resin on top of the vase you can then leave it to cure overnight so it's now the next day and it's now time to work on this to remove the lid and attach it to the lamp base so I'm just applying a little bit of heat to warm the resin and this just makes this a little bit easier to get off so just using a knife I'm going to lift this lid from the resin and then using the knife and then going to trim round and cut the resin out now doing it this way just makes it a lot easier to trim the resin and then just remove the vase and the plastic and then place the, it back onto the vase for half an hour or so just to let the resin cool back down before attaching the the lamp base I added a round vase on top just to give the resin a rounded um, top just so that makes it a little bit easier to place inside the lamp base and so now that that's done it's now time to attach this and then leave it to cure for a further 24 hours or longer depending on your resin some resins take a lot longer to fully cure some take up to a week so leave it in position for around that, that time just till it's fully hard and no longer moving Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more in-depth videos, then please subscribe to my new members only website. Not only will you get the longer length videos, but you'll also get access to my tutorial guide downloads and other resources that I've created over the last two years. You'll find links for the membership site and other handy links in the description below. Please also take the time to subscribe to my channel and if you're looking for other ideas then you'll find plenty within my channel so go and have a look at those. So until the next video, bye for now.